Good morning out of Goshen. Beautiful day to work outside. Uh, however, it is muddy around there, so we're gonna work on our driveway today. We're going to build a picnic table for the kids. Now, I found the plans for this on Pinterest, and I'll put a link below to the person who put it up there. I'm sorry, I don't get the name on there, but I wanna give them credit where credit's due. However, I'm gonna show a little bit more how we did it. We're gonna change it up a little bit. And uh, it's simply made out of two by fours, 11 of them if it actually works out right. So let's get working and make a picnic table for the kids. <laughs> and to keep things nice and flat, we're going to work on our trailer here. Where'd they go? Miss Jenna is arriving to help out, right? And Miss Ashley's here to help too. I am. Ready to cut some wood? No, but yeah, sure. To make things easier, I simply just printed out their instructions. And there's two main changes I'm going to be doing from their instructions. Number one, they actually have the length of the table and the benches being 42 inches. Um, and I was like, why not use the whole two by four? So I'm gonna go 48 inches, add six inches on, makes it a little bit uh, longer. So first we're gonna go ahead and cut those 48 inch lengths for both the table and the benches. So there's the rough cutting of the table and the benches. The table on the corners I cut at 45 degree angles. All these, by the way, are 48 inches. And the benches I cut at 30 degrees. All right, so in the original table, they didn't have this many pieces of wood right here. I actually added one in there to make it wider. They were going to make 14 and a half inch struts. Mine were 21 inches. And these 21 inch struts going across are cut at 45 degree angles there too. All right, now I put the lower struts on. Um, I did mine in 44 inches. And in their plans, they did 39 and a quarter. But we found that with be 39 and a quarter, these benches are gonna be too close to the table. So we actually brought them out further without using any extra wood. And of course, the angles are 45 degrees also. These next pieces I cut at 25 inches. They recommended 24 and a quarter. That's a little bit, little bit taller and it'll make the table taller. And I did these angles at 22 and a half. So the way this works is this will actually attach the table about right here. Then of course the bench part will come about right here with a bench on top and I made four of these now ultimately the plans they gave us said you would actually need ten two by fours we were able to do it in about seven I say seven because one part of it got messed up if it wouldn't have got messed up seven two by fours instead of ten which is really good uh, as far as price wise goes so we'll actually do a calculation of the total and see how much the whole project cost but so far it's looking really good and it's inexpensive too the first thing I did, I put the tabletop braces on the bottom with the beveled edge pointing downward. Then I aligned all the boards so that the tabletop braces are seven inches from the end. I found the center point, drew a faint line, then put two screws per board on each end. I used two and a half inch screws. Then I repeated on the other end. Tabletop's done. Now it's time for the support legs. The support legs attached easy. We put one end directly on top of the second board on each side, then screwed it in on each side. Now the bench braces. We centered them on the legs and put them nine inches from the bottom of the feet. Do this on both sides.
flip the table over and let's put on the bench tops. Simple enough. Just center the boards on the bench braces and pull the outside board to the edge. Screw it down using two screws per end of the board. Then push the inside bench top board against the outside one, and then again, two screws per end. Jump to the other side and do it again. There we go. My part's done. Well, kind of, I guess I can help you do a little bit of sanding. Yeah, I'm gonna sand and then I'm gonna paint. That looks pretty nice. The whole assembly took about an hour to an hour and a half. And the painting took just about as much time. We went with a flat outdoor paint. We did not use pressure treated wood because the paint seals it in. And then of course, let it dry. Lunch time. Lunch time. The entire project, less than 30 bucks. And you know for a fact you're spending well over 60 or 70 dollars if you bought one of these new. Fantastic. The exercises we put in, perfect for our four kids. We could probably even fit more. From the original designs, ours is wider, taller, and longer without using any extra wood. What a cute little table. It's awesome. For under 30 bucks. Down in the description below, I put instructions on how I built it. Of course, you can suit it to your own needs too. You guys like the table? It's just your size, isn't it? Any questions at all? Please put them in the comments below. We'll be glad to answer them. If you don't know us, we're out of Goshen, a family of nine, homesteading in central Michigan and loving it. Check us out and subscribe. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time. Until next time, out of Goshen.